It's not the oldest college in Colorado, but it is the largest. And today, the graduating class of 2024 will be shifting those tassels on their, uh, they call them motor boards, apparently, the little hats that the they wear. The top of the hat? I didn't know that. I never called it a motorboard. I bottom. didn't either. So congrats to all these kids out there and the families out there celebrating. Yeah, you can see people starting to kind of, oh, this is video from previous years. Let's get to Dan Drew on it live with a live look this morning at CU Boulder. And Drew was talking about the traffic uh, on the way there. Is it starting to fill in the stadium? Tra well, yeah, traffic is going to be a mess for sure, uh, and especially on 36 that turns into 28th at Colorado. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> hey, nice to see you, by the way. Nicole Mix. Uh, listen, yeah, traffic's going to be a little bit of an issue. People are starting to, to, to fill in. And before I forget, why do they call them mortar boards? And I'm not throwing you a curveball. You, I know why they call them mortar boards. I would love to hear your answer. Well, okay. Um, this is Mr. W Wikipedia. No, this is a mortar because the, it resembles a mortar board that bricklayers use when they're doing, they're using, they put mortar on the board yes. and they lay bricks. So it looks like that. Well, you'll see about 90. 300 of those uh, here at the on the field of, of Folsom Field here yep. in about an hour or so. And that's a big deal for these students because in 2020, you know, a lot of them did not go to high school graduation because everything was locked down. So this has extra special meaning. Maybe they got their cap and gown, but they weren't able to wear it and actually walk across the ceremony uh, stage and receive their diploma. So really excited for our class of 2024 in particular this year because they get to have that actual commencement graduation ceremony. And listen, Listen to that. Wait a minute. That sounds like pomp and circumstance to me, but a real jazzy Glenn Miller-ish kind of version. What, what's up with that? So our uh, College of Music actually created three new versions of pomp and circumstance, one of which is a uh, big band version, which I think you're listening to right now. Yeah. Super catchy, and that will be played here at Folsom Field this morning. So really right. excited for that to debut. I totally want to swing dance to that. Oh, Stray Cats could do a great version too. Just saying, maybe for next year. You know, I, I think that there's a lot of different options that we could go with here, but we're really excited to change it up a little bit, especially for our class of 20. Hey, traffic's going to be a little bit of an issue, too, because there, there's that intersection, which is Colorado Avenue, right? And then uh, 28, there's all kind of, at that intersection, major construction. So if you're coming up, maybe drive around that or maybe avoid it. Yeah, so 20, 28th in Colorado, where that 36 turns into 28 as you're coming into Boulder, is, is going to be a bit of a mess. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit unavoidable, so I would just take some extra time to get here on campus and generally just around the city uh, today and throughout the weekend. We have 71 recognition ceremony events throughout uh, throughout the weekend through Saturday, so you'll see increased traffic for sure in the Boulder area. They just got to keep playing that music because it'll put everybody in a good mood. Yeah, keep happy, right? <laughs> it sounds like Glenn Miller. Okay, so the procession starts at 8.30 and the whole thing's over about 10-ish or something like that? Yeah, it's, it's usually around a 90-minute ceremony. Sometimes we shorten it for weather. Fortunately, right now, things are holding out for us, so it looks like we'll be able to enjoy the full commencement offering this I morning. know, weather, I mean, it's cloudy, but so far, no, like, precip, right? Nothing's coming down. Did I just say precipitation like I know what I'm talking about? So anyway, no rain, right? That being said, but we can keep our fingers crossed, right? We will keep our fingers crossed, and things are looking good. You know who Glenn Miller is. I do know who Glenn Miller is. You know, we do have a Glenn Miller ballroom here at CU Boulder. He's a CU alum, so. He is. Oh, my God. He's a great guy. I like his tunes. Hey, we could do a little swing dancing, but we don't have time. <laughs> so we're going to toss it back to you. This sure is a lot better than burn, 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 burn. This is better. I like it this. Spice is it up a bit. I'm sure they'll still have the, uh, the old school like classic it. pomp and circumstance as well. You got to have that. Yeah. And you dressed up for the event too, which is nice. I see you got your cowboy hat on. Yeah. Yep, I'm wearing pants too. <laughs> wow, that's a win. Well, I got dressed hey, up. Good job. It is oh, Thursday not dressed. After all. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said I didn't hear the dressed up. You said you got dressed up. I thought so. Dan Daru got dressed uh, he just this got morning. Dressed. So yeah. that's, uh, that's that's an achievement. Thank you, Dan. Good to see you live there at uh, C graduation. We'll How check fun. back in with Dan throughout the morning. Cool to see things getting underway. And they're going to begin in about uh, 20 minutes from now, eight o'clock yeah. this morning. It's kind of bittersweet. I know. Why? It, I don't know. I was emotional graduating the first college. Day of and the you went rest to see you, Boulder. Lives. I did. I mean, it's great because you just had some of the best years of your yeah, life and, and ending oh, a new chapter. And it's all downhill from here. No, right? I was going to say, <laughs> and even better ones to come. Not a reality, kids. <laughs> I'll be so sad about it.